Hello everyone. Hi, a warm welcome to Tiny Prince Art Academy. Am I audible to all of you? Can you all hear me perfectly? Hello, hi. Yes, I can see all of you are joining here slowly. Thank you so much for joining. And we will get started with our free drawing and craft activity. All right. So all of you be ready. Today I have bought you one beautiful and exciting subject. All right. So all we need is the drawing book. Okay, all we need is a drawing book and a pencil, eraser, all these things. Okay, so if you can hear me perfectly, please drop in your highs in the chat box so that I know you can hear me or just type yes if you can hear me. Yes. Hello everyone. Hello there. Okay, in another two minutes, I'm going to shift my camera to the other side. All right, so that you will be able to see me and hear me. All right. Thank you so much for joining on time. First of all, yes, you can hear me. Thank you very, very much for confirming everyone. Yes. Thank you, children. Yes. So shall we move to the next step? Shall I replace my camera to the other side? Are you all ready with your stationery? If yes, give me quick thumbs ups or just type Y in the chat box. All right, so I'm going to switch my camera and then I will reveal today's subject what we are going to draw today. Okay, so let's switch camera. Yes, hello everyone. Okay, so we require a drawing book for today's class. All right. We require a drawing book for today's class. So I hope all of you are ready. Okay, so see over here. We have uh, A4 size drawing book. So if you have similar type of drawing book, be ready with this. Okay, and uh, let's get started. Today's artwork subject is about... Today's artwork subject is about underwater scenery. All right, I'm going to teach you how to draw a beautiful underwater scenery. This is what we are going to learn today. All right, in the meanwhile, you can type it in the chat box if you have any difficulty. I'll be able to take up your questions from there. Since it's a one-way communication, I will not be able to see you all, right? We all know that. So in the chat box, all of you can give me thumbs up, just type Y and let me no, that all of you are watching and all of you are working with me. All right. So let's get started. All of you are placing your paper vertical. And if you have a medium size round bowl from kitchen, get that bowl. Okay. Get one round bowl from kitchen. This is your step number one is to get one round bowl from kitchen. All right. Medium size, not very big, not very small. Okay. We have one medium bowl over here so all of you get one medium bowl from kitchen not very big and not very small all right once you're ready with this type y since it's an underwater scenery i'm going to teach you how to draw a beautiful crab okay crab is today's artwork subject okay so how many of you are scared of crabs do you know any facts about crabs you can type it in the chat box for all of us to know if you have any extra information about crab right so all of you are placing your paper vertical step number one right and somewhere in the center of your page okay somewhere in the center you can place your bowl from side of my page i have left with two finger space like this see i have left with two finger space okay it is somewhere in the center of my page the placement is top and bottom okay somewhere in the center i have left with two finger space like this and maybe from down you can leave about five finger space so adjust your bowl in such a way that from down you have five finger space and from side you have two finger space all right from down, you have five finger space and from sides, you have two finger space. Okay, once you're done with this step, all of you give me quick thumbs ups. Now take your pencil. Everybody is supposed to use pencil. All right. Everybody is supposed to use 
pencil so over here first thing is i'm going to mark one nice curve which looks pretty much like alphabet c c for cat okay so i'm marking one curve that is semicircle using my pencil c i'm using my pencil and marking c for cat you are using your pencil c this is my first alphabet that i have done and this looks c for cat i have left two finger space from side five finger space from bottom i have placed my bowl this way and i have marked semicircle which is c for cat right hello everyone yes i can see lots and lots of highs in the chat box so good afternoon everyone once you mark this c alphabet give me quick thumbs up now what i'll do is <clears throat> over here i will use my marker so that you can see it clearly if i use my pencil many times you can't see it but all of you don't use your marker use your pencil i will give you enough time to border later i'm using my marker so that you can see it perfectly got it yes good afternoon everyone did you all finish till here shall we move to the next step are you all ready shall we go to the next step did you all mark alphabet c for cat perfect now to the other side you take the same bowl and in the same line you shift your bowl little bit away in the same line shift it little bit away and here again you have two finger space to the side see you have two finger space to the side okay it is the same line i've shifted my bowl little bit away because i have to mark a perfect semicircle here again okay i have to mark one more semicircle here little bit away again so i've shifted my bowl little bit away again i have two finger space to the side like that and i will trace one more semicircle okay we are drawing a beautiful crab today crab is today's artwork subject since it's a underwater scenery we have to mark one perfect oval shape so this is one easy way to show perfect oval shape okay once you mark this give me quick thumbs up okay finished everyone now all you need to do is just connect these two lines together connect connect from top also connect from the base and what you've got here is big big anda shape isn't it big fat anda shape all of you've got okay did you all finish shall we move to the next step ready for next step who's ready give me quick thumbs up students if you are ready for next step give me quick quick thumbs up do you know how many legs or uh, how many uh, extensions crab has do you know the number perfect number how many legs does crab have anyone knows you can type it anyone knows about it Do you know about it how many legs do crab have anyone 2 no 6 no guess how many legs okay so in total including the claws so those are also part of legs only so crab has about 10 legs okay total 10 legs okay including those claws and including legs the number is 10 did you know about it if yes type yes 
let's add poppy eyes see over here i'm adding two slant lines on top again to the other side i'm adding two slant lines where we are going to add eyes usually you will see that crab does have this kind of poppy eyes which means the eyes are out of the body and popped up how cute isn't it something like alien i would say uh, it looks something like alien yes <clears throat> once you finish this give me quick thumbs up students once you finish this i need to see quick thumbs ups from all of you all of you are using pencils right students everybody is using pencil okay now over here i'm going to add one big circle so use your hand and add one big circle about a coin size about one rupee coin size circle i'm adding here it's not a small circle see it is not a small circle it's a big circle coin size circle i'm adding two circles for two eyes obviously two eyes here okay so let's add two eyes for our cute little crab and once you're done till here Give me quick, quick thumbs ups. Once you finish, give me quick thumbs up. Okay, or just type Y, correct? You can type just Y in the chat box so that I know, yes, all of you are on the same stage, all of you have finished, isn't it? I'm going really slow so that everybody can catch. Now see, over here, inner part of the eyes, we are going to draw one circle like so draw one circle but don't complete this circle leave it don't complete the circle you leave it as it is to the other side also we will do the same thing you add one circle but don't complete it only you have to leave little gap see both sides have done same thing i'm not completing it i'm leaving it as it is Okay, we are about 60 children over here. So I hope all of you are able to follow me. See, now let's add one curve inside to complete eyes and one more curve inside to complete eyes. See how nice. Okay, cute little eyes are done. Okay, so you have face and eyes ready actually the whole body and eyes are ready also do you know one fun fact about uh, crabs that crabs walk sideways see humans walk straight like this for example i'm walking i will walk like this like right? straight in a straight line but usually you will see crabs walk like this sideways how funny isn't it they go like that in the water like this like this tick 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 how funny yes it's a crab now let's add a smile to our crab so all you need is a horizontal line our crab is really happy so one horizontal line and one semicircle attached to it okay so actually we're adding a laughter or something like a big laughter to our crab so you add a horizontal line if you see this is not a smile line this is pretty much straight line can you all see this line is pretty much straight and then you have a curve attaching it to it and then you have to add nice beautiful teeth line and attach it with a tongue below so you have to connect these two shapes together okay there is no gap in between so tongue goes and touches the teeth line and comes down see cute right let's finish it with two curves to both sides <clears throat> yes for coloring we will discuss when we will start coloring okay we will start coloring that time we will discuss what we are going to use for coloring all right now let's add claws 
to add claws you are going to add two fat lines going upwards going upwards this way and to the other side also to add claws you are going to add two lines to the either side okay once you're done give me quick 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 thumbs up students okay someone is saying crab is scary do you find crab scary or do you find them cute yes in the cartoon it looks cute i totally agree in the cartoon our crabs are really cute over here all of you mark one u alphabet u u for umbrella and to the other side mark same alphabet u u for umbrella to both sides you have to mark alphabet u all right to both sides mark alphabet u and simply add alphabet v v for van inside your u and you get those claws you get those cute little claws okay abc says crabs walk like penguins even no penguins walk straight crabs can walk in all directions that is also one speciality of crabs if you see crabs they will walk in all directions like they can go circular also they can go diagonal also they can go sideways also but mostly crabs walk sideways so if you want you can google it later and see the walk of the crab it's so funny Cra crabs walks is the funniest walk i have ever seen okay now over here we will be able to see just three legs so you add one line one curve line because rest will be at the back side total 10 legs including claws okay but we will be able to see only three three to the both sides because two are behind so we can't see those take a u turn come back up okay first leg legs for walking and these are claws okay so total 8 legs for walking including two claws makes number 10 legs total legs for your crab here i am using again curve line take a u turn go up one more time it's pretty simple see take a u turn go up like this here also take a u turn go up Three three legs. We have to add three and three six, and two more are there, but they are at the back side. We can't see those. Okay, two are at the back side. Can't see those. So one two three four five six seven eight two at the back side. Total count is ten, isn't it? Since it's a beautiful underwater scenery, students, we have to decorate this entire space with shells. with seaweed with sand with bubbles and make it so interesting so are you all ready for next step or shall i wait for two more minutes what do you say if you say go to the next step just tap type y in the chat box i'll go to the next step then <clears throat> okay just type y so that i can go to the next step or i'll wait if you type no i'll wait for 2 minutes yes we will add corals seaweed coral is nothing but a sea plant right then uh, bubbles what do you see underwater sand sea bed all those things we are going to add everybody work slowly carefully take your time and be patient okay since holidays are starting i'm going to conduct more and more live classes for all of you which i'm sure all of us are going to enjoy including me i love teaching you all so that's the reason we will all conduct more and more live classes for all of you and also if you have any subject request you can type it in the chat box that i want to learn this i want to learn that you can type it and i will think about it if i get more words for scenery we will learn one beautiful scenery drawing if i get more words for space drawing we will do one space drawing like that all of you think and type okay since our crab is ready let's move to the next step 
over here now I'm going to add one curve line this way which will break this space so top is water and this is seabed so our crab is sitting right in the deep ocean right in the deep ocean where you can see this seabed okay so this line will break top is water and base is sea water okay uh, sorry base is seabed all right so we have just broken this into two parts now with a curve line all right perfect now over here let's add some shells okay so basic shell drawing is very very easy all you need to draw is a shape like this okay a shape like this and add few curves on top and connect super simple so we are adding some shells here which looks pretty much like this and then you can add many shells over here if you have more space you can add three to four shells so two curve lines meeting so this pretty much looks like alphabet v with curve lines isn't it this looks like alphabet v with curve lines and then you can add few more curves on top and connect all those at the base very simple so i have two shells here shall i add one more here it will look nice right i will add one more here i have lot of space if you also have space add shells but make sure shells are not very very small okay we can shade it inside also if shells are slightly bigger in size so i have added three shells here very simple okay once you add shells i need to see quick 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 thumbs up or just type y in the chat box okay just type y in the chat box that is pretty much okay so that i know okay also when you are uh, drawing be patient everybody is using pencil i use my marker so that you can see it perfectly correct yes sketching class also we will conduct one sketching class perfect ready for next step who's ready for next step okay just in case if it is not your name for example there is one channel called as idk okay so that's pragati right pragati okay that's pragati all right so just type y y y if you are ready i will show you next step okay now see over here behind this crab we will add we will start right at the corner and all of you know how to add wavy line it's pretty simple so i've add one wave to the side see like this wave to the side yes i can see hania also here hello hania if it's your name that i know then then i know your names right already if it's not your name then it's a different thing because you have different different names okay now bring the same line down with one more wave and you have to connect it down at the base okay if crab is coming in between you have to vanish that line so that's my coral or seaweed number 1 okay this is my coral or seaweed number 1 which is right behind my crab okay let me shift my paper in the center can you all see my paper clearly students this is fine right hello suhani yes amaira is here all right amaira suhani lovely good to see you all hello pranavi let's add one more seaweed which is again behind your crab so i'm adding one line again in the similar way 
and then this is vanishing here at the i <clears throat> okay so two i have added two c plants hello laila hello bevin yes yes haniya we will try and do why not okay here to the other side you can add one more so i've left lot of space in the center and i'm adding one more coral to the other side this way which is going again till the starting of my sand so i have three corals over here one two three that's it i will stop here all right now those who have finished till here all of you can start bordering we will add few bubbles only here and there okay we will add few bubbles here and there so for that you can start adding big and small circle choice is yours okay or you can add mix of it some bubbles can be big some can be small so all over here i'm going to add some circles you can keep on changing the size of your circle big small medium or however you like we are going to show lots and lots of bubbles here under water where my cute little crab is sitting and relaxing what do you think this crab is doing here any idea what do you think this crab is doing relaxing waiting for someone or hiding and playing hide and seek what do you think hello dimple hello srishti hello you uh, yukta yes yukta hello okay somebody is saying playing laughing yes playing laughing i also think that way that maybe it's playing and laughing or maybe hiding and laughing because his friend can't catch can't find isn't it hello tani si good evening okay somebody is saying praying to god yes praying to god about what that friend should not catch me right maybe that way okay now down here we will show some pebbles to show pebbles i'm going to use some oval shapes and scatter it here okay these are not circles as you can clearly see i am adding oval shapes here which are colorful pebbles how many of you like colorful pebbles colorful pebbles look really nice if you put it in a plant spot isn't it you must be having those plants at home and if you have pebbles colorful pebbles your plant looks so pretty okay so i have added few ovals here and pretty much our drawing is over now i'm going to wait for 5 minutes all of you take your markers whiteboard markers if you have same like this or if you have sketch pen you can start bordering your entire artwork let's wait for 5 minutes till you finish okay so you can start now those who are done please start with your bordering yes colorful pebbles that's right jarin that's right journey jarin that's correct oh haniya says i am haniya and i am youtuber too that's great same pinch haniya okay all of you start bordering okay we will use different different mediums for coloring today okay i will show you what we can use you can use crayons or oil pastels if you have okay this is option number 1 you can use watercolor cakes if you have anything is okay you can use this or you can use this or you can also use brush pens so whatever coloring material you have it is okay we can use whatever we have at home no need to worry crayons is okay oil pastels is okay color pencils sketch pens anything that you have at home is okay okay sunita says hide and seek yes even i feel sunita this crab is definitely playing hide and seek because when your friend can't find you you laugh like this right 
but then you put your hand on mouth and make sure that you your friend cannot listen otherwise friend will catch you right if friend can hear you laughing then obviously friend will come and catch you yes pragati says she is also youtuber congratulations to you pragati and same pinch to you yes we can use everything arohi if you have everything we will use everything that's called as mixed media when you try and combine all your artworks uh, with different different coloring material it is called as mixed media that's right so you can combine watercolors oil pastels brush pens if you combine everything together it is obviously mixed media which means you're mixing mixing all those mediums together isn't it perfect yes abc says uh, crab is laughing silently yes silent laugh i like that word <clears throat> those who have completed you can type y over here so that we will start coloring okay hello bhavishya good evening to you Okay so I'm ready with my water bowls all right Okay now once you finish you have to take your eraser and you have to clean your page if you have any ugly pencil marks here and there you need to clean that Okay before we start coloring I would like to explain you that we are of different age groups and we do have different working speed right so you don't have to worry if teacher is coloring fast you don't have to color fast okay you have to take your time with your black marker you are going to color this part of the eye you can leave one tiny dot inside like this so that it looks nice see like this here also you can leave one tiny dot and color around it into this half moon shape so that we can add a cute little twinkle in crab's eyes see like this also you have this inner part of the mouth okay not the teeth line and not the tongue you have empty area over here correct see that's the empty area over here you have to color that empty area which is the inner part of the mouth Okay, especially when you laugh like that, many times you see darkness in the mouth because light can't reach their inner part of your mouth, right? So you see dark area. Okay, so two things need to be covered with black color. That's eyeball and inner part of the. mouth if you have marker or sketch pen you color it with that it's most convenient okay also let me know how do you like this cartoon crab are you all liking it is it looking nice are you all enjoying this class that's most important for me to know so that i can bring more subjects like this for all of you isn't it Yes if you like it just type me in the chat box m e me okay if you like this subject just type me in the chat box perfect thank you very much for letting me know this it's a cute little crab okay so let's start coloring now you have to pick um blue color from your oil pastel okay if you have light blue color let's pick light blue from your oil pastels okay we will try and combine everything together i'm just keeping my water bowls away for some time 
here. So the first color that you will pick from your oil pastels and the color is light blue shade number 239. Okay, so here I have light blue shade number 239, which I'm going to pick and I will start coloring this part of my paper. Okay, the water <clears throat> that I'm going to start with light blue shade number is 239. If you don't have same blue, you can change the shade of this blue. Now you have to color this entire background using light blue color, which is my background color or water color, right? So you will not color into seaweeds, not into bubbles, not into the crab. This is just your background color. And you have to work in small, small sections from top to bottom and start coloring. See, like this, I'm coloring in small, small sections. All of you be patient, slow, take your time and color it nicely. Okay, see how slowly I'm coloring with small, small patches. Don't color into bubbles, not required. Don't color into seaweed or coral. Don't color into crab. This is just our background color that you see here. See like this. Slow, slow work is better than doing your work too fast, isn't it? Fast work usually will spoil your artwork. If you are patient, if you are coloring with full heart, soul in it, and if you are being focused, then your artwork will automatically reflect that. If you are coloring it in too much hurry, you will end up scribbling your crayon and which will not look nice, isn't it? So be slow. This is shade number 239. Again, I repeat for those who want to know the number. This is light blue color. I'm using my oil pastel. Okay, just that if you don't have same color, you can use any other shade of blue. Okay, that is fine. Now you have to check gaps also. For example, this is a gap. So this is water and this is my background color. Okay, so while coloring, you have to check all gaps in between. Also, uh, since this is holiday season, so how many of you would like me to release one hour class for all of you regularly? How many of you would be interested in creating one artwork every day on YouTube? So let me know if it is possible. I will release one hour class every day for all of you at a particular time so that all of you can work. Okay. How many of you would want me to release one class for all of you? Same like this one hour drawing class. Would you all be interested in working? If yes, just type me in the chat box. Okay, so if I get more students saying me, I will definitely try and release one class for all of you every day. Yes, and subjects will be child friendly like this similar type of subjects where children will enjoy birds, animals, Scenery, different, different types of flowers, flower vase, still life, pop art, madhubani art, different, different subjects every day. Would you all be interested? Would you all work like that? Okay, again, while coloring, be slow, be patient, take your time, be slow. Yes, hello Yukta, perfect. Tasini says she's very much interested if I release classes every day. Perfect. I will try and release classes every day for your holiday, okay? 
for your holiday since you all of you will be free you can work every day one nice beautiful artwork like this all right perfect thank you so much for letting me know students okay see while talking i'm coloring also i'm not just talking talking i'm not a talking tom i'm working tom also see slow 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 work from top to bottom as you can see the direction for coloring is from top to bottom always okay top to bottom work in small small sections press your crayon no white spaces please and most important we do have different working speed so you take your time you can increase speed if you practice every day okay see like this i'm coloring into all small gaps nice no see nice blue color i've got yes shweta i try and give you live classes as much as possible um also we do have regular classes so those who are interested in regular classes can visit www.tinyprinceartacademy.com okay that is one option tinyprinceart.com okay www.tinyprinceart.com you can visit so i try and release many many free classes and also i can provide recorded classes for all of you where you can work and then later you can submit your work so we have many many options of working right live classes regular classes free classes and also recorded classes okay so you can choose which option do you want to go for all right did you all finish till here <laughs> idk says good joke ma'am yes i'm i'm not just talking tom i have to talk right otherwise everybody will run away if teacher doesn't talk but i'm working tom also finished everyone shall we move to the next step are you all ready okay so over here my blue color is over now i'm going to switch to my second color which is light green color okay so i am going to take light green crayon let's see yes light green crayon from here which is shade number 240 light green oil pastel okay i have light green oil pastel here and i'm going to start coloring this coral only half way from right side only half way from right side this coral is going to go into light green color see like this okay and then i'll repeat this to all my corals this is shade number 240 any light green will work if you have any light green you can use no matter which medium you are using you have to work slowly okay whether you are coloring with oil pastels like me or you are using brush pens or you are using crayons or watercolors brush pens anything just be patient and color slowly see all sides do have similar pattern from right side my coral is in light green color for me it's shade number 240 240 okay 240 sunita says sunday only sunita you can work at your convenient time because i will be releasing recordings for all of you so if you are not able to work at that particular time you can go to any time check that recording and work okay now light green is done you can take dark green color you can take dark green color and you can work to the other side this is shade number 233 for me this is called as leaf green color this is shade number 233 which is leaf green this color is available in the pack of 50 okay this particular color is available in the pack of 50 if you don't have you can use any dark green color
okay you can use dark green or leaf green whichever shade you have i am using leaf green shade number 233 and i am coating rest of the coral in leaf green shade number 233 okay and then i'll repeat it over here here we have already started shading see how beautiful it is looking isn't it we have started shading this beautiful coral seaweed with light green and dark green be careful check all small spaces be patient while coloring right see this is how it's finished light green and dark green Okay, if you're getting lot of flakes, dab your book down. Okay, all of you can dab your book down. Keep one old newspaper next to you. Don't clean using your hand like this, like this. It will smudge everywhere. Now the next color that I have here is orange, shade number 283. Okay, again, I repeat, you have to take your own time. When I'm announcing colors, you can take out those particular shades from your box and keep it next to you so that you know you have to use this color next. This is orange 283, 283 orange color. Okay, so I'm keeping it away, taking out of my box and keeping it here. Over here, with my pink color, first I will create blush, which I always create i find it really cute so this is 341 pink and i'm creating blush first and then i will color orange okay so i've created two circles with shade number 341 pink as a blush okay also this tongue i'm going to color it in pink same pink 341 shade number 341 like so so pink color for blush pink color for tongue shade number was 341 and now i will start coloring with orange okay so only right side of my crab's body is going to go into orange color same like my seaweed correct see i'm coloring only right right side of my crab's body claws legs and eventually face okay i am going to use only right side of my crab's body and color it in orange color shade number is two eight three only right side of my crab's body will go into orange color because we are following certain light system over here that is the reason only right side of my crab's entire body is going to go into orange okay even the space you can see halfway the space is going into orange color shade number is two eight three all of you take your time just because teacher is coloring at a certain speed you don't have to and I'm sure all of you always color at pretty much medium speed. Okay. So that is good. See, halfway of my crab's face, halfway claws, halfway legs, halfway this eye system, this poppy eye stand, halfway claws, everything halfway is in orange color. Shade number is 283. Hania says, nice, nice. Thank you, Hania. I'm sure your artwork is also looking nice, nice. Okay, then you take your red color. Red color is shade number 350, primary red color. Okay, this is my primary red, shade number 350. And then you have to color rest of the body of your crab into red. Okay, so crab is in 
red and orange combination for all of us see how nice red and orange this is primary red shade number 350 yes you can use watercolors many times we try and use different different mediums i try and give you different different options for coloring so if you are comfortable using oil pastels you can use it if you are comfortable using watercolors you can use that as i announced in the beginning of the class we are working from different different cities and different different places so I give you, try and give you different options. If not watercolors, you must be having oil pastels, right? If not oil pastels, you must be having brush pens. So in my material list, I try and give you options and then you can color it with whatever comfortable and whatever you have basically at home, right? That's the reason we needed watercolors. It was just in the list. And I'm sure many children must be working with watercolors also if they don't have crayons, isn't it? See, like this, half of my body from left side is in red and half of it is in orange. Same thing you do for the legs. Same thing you can do this for legs. If you have left little, little gap, it will go in red so that you've got a nice shading on your crab's face in the coral everywhere isn't it see how nice finally if needed you can mix these two colors together okay if you feel that colors are looking tacky colors are not looking nice not looking blended you can just rub your finger lightly to mix orange and red together. Make sure your fingers are clean before you mix these two colors. Okay. Otherwise, if there is any other color residue, it will enter into your color system, which we don't want. Okay, so color it like this. And if needed, mix colors using your finger. It will look nice, isn't it? See how pretty. Now let's color sand first and then we are left with little, little things only. Okay, for coloring the sand, I have chosen yellow color. Yes, Babin, it is perfectly fine. Babin, this recording will be available. So later on, you can work, okay? As soon as the class is going to finish, you can check the recording of this class on YouTube here itself. Okay? And also, children, please subscribe to Tiny Prince Art Academy if you haven't hit the notification button so that as soon as we release something new, any tutorial, you will get that notification and then you can work on it. Okay, also like, share and subscribe as every YouTuber says. I'm also going to say the same thing. Like, share and subscribe please. Okay, now take yellow color. This is medium yellow. Shade number is 256. I have taken medium yellow. 256. And do you see this entire sand system over here? This entire patch of sand it is going to go into medium yellow. Shade number is 256. Okay, shade number for medium yellow is 256. Be slow. Everyone be slow when you are coloring. Take your time. Be patient. See here. You have to avoid coloring into shells and you have to avoid coloring obviously into the pebbles because that is not part of sand over here. If you don't have medium yellow, you can take lemon yellow or any other shade of yellow. Okay, let's color this entire sand or seabed in yellow. I'm using medium yellow 256. If you don't have 256, Take any other fresh yellow color. 
lemon yellow, chrome yellow, any other yellow is fine. Okay, avoid coloring into the shells, avoid coloring into the pebbles, just color around it. Slow work is better than coloring too fast. Okay. Check all corners. If you find any corners are left, top up once more. Also, where to share your artwork? Where can I see your artwork? Okay. So for that, you can connect to me through Facebook. All right. You can uh, share it on a messenger there. You can also share it on Instagram. Name is same everywhere. Tiny Prince Art. You can share it in the messenger of Instagram, messenger of Facebook or those who are directly connected with me. You can directly share your artwork. All right. See over here. Yellow color is over. Now how many of you can see there is particular color scheme going on over here. How many of you have heard of primary colors or basic colors? Anybody? Have you heard of primary colors or basic colors? Okay, there are three primary colors or basic colors. Colors are blue, red and yellow. Okay, so these are three basic colors and we have used it in a prominent or important way. That's blue, primary color number one, red, primary color number two and yellow primary color number three see how nice and how beautiful this is turned out okay now you can take your sketch pen because we have left with little little things over here correct so you can take your brush pen sketch pens if you have any of those see i have a lot of brush pens here so i'm going to use for small small things i'm going to switch to it Okay, so you can pick nice, nice colors of your choice. And you have to color pebbles in such a way that you are going to leave little shine inside the pebbles. So while coloring, you can leave little gap into your pebbles. See like this. You can pick any multicolors of your choice. Pink pebble, green pebble, yellow pebble, purple pebble, any colors of your own. Okay, and color each pebble in different different color see how nice each pebble can go in different different nice nice bright bright colors green yellow pink purple dark blue light blue red orange you have so many color options isn't it so each pebble but leave this shine it will look nice you will have shiny looking pebbles over here how pretty isn't it Nice, nice, bright, bright colors I'm picking, see. We also have these shells. So again, I'm giving you freedom to color shells the way you like. Again, you have to leave little shine into the shells. While coloring, leave little gap. So that these will also shine bright and nice. See, easy, right? I will try and introduce such easy techniques for all of you so that it is going to be helpful in your drawing competitions for your school projects or just as a hobby if you want to continue for a hobby or if you want to really become an artist then yes why not everything is going to be helpful for all of you also let me know how do you like today's artwork did you all enjoy is it bright beautiful nice it's a cartoon crab that we have created today see like this I've used different different colors okay and then finally I will take my dark blue color and some of my bubbles over here I'm going to color it in dark blue not all few here and there some of the bubbles are in white but some of them are in dark blue colors. So again, you leave shine. So you choose which one will go in dark blue color. You can color those in dark blue. Otherwise, leave in between. In between, you leave few bubbles in white. So combination for bubbles is 
white and blue dark blue this is dark blue from my brush pen even when you are using sketch pens for all small areas yes you can use sketch pen you can use brush pen you can use crayons color pencils anything leave shine and your artwork is perfect looking so how do you like this give me quick 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 thumbs ups so that all of you encourage me when you give me thumbs ups when you give me likes right and i will try and bring such more subjects for all of you finally you have to check all white spaces if you find any white spaces anywhere please stop it up all right those who want to share your artwork you can connect to me on instagram instagram handle name is tiny prince art you can message me there you can connect to me on whatsapp page is same tiny prince art and also on youtube page is same or handle or channel is same tiny prince art all right and we also have a website tinyprinceart.com so everywhere name is same there is no confusion you can connect you can share and also don't forget to subscribe students before leaving i'm going to quickly switch my camera to the other side where you can see me okay so let's see so there i am i hope all of you have enjoyed today's class as much as i did teaching you okay so also one more important thing if you are still coloring please complete your work slowly and then post your work okay hi and i hope all of you have enjoyed my name is prajakta pandit and i am from tiny prince art academy i will try and bring more such subject to all of you to enjoy your holidays and to make your holidays more creative right so i'll see you all soon with a few more live classes don't forget to like share and subscribe you can connect to me through whatsapp you can connect to me through facebook you can connect to me through instagram and also youtube okay you can share your work and i will see you all in the next class bye for now see you